everybody welcome back to another kind of vlog so today I am in a bit of a rush because I finished work at 12 and I'm actually going to meet my friend Ella for lunch in around half an hour and like it takes like it probably takes me around 25 minutes half an hour to walk down so I really don't have much time to vlog but that's what I would vlog because it is a nice ish day and I'm obviously doing something interesting. We're actually going to this place called the Cocoa Mill and like it is quite popular in Carlisle. It's slightly expensive but oh my god so good. So I have literally just like I literally rushed my makeup. It probably only took me around like 25 minutes and that's the quickest it's ever taken me. So I'm pretty proud of myself. The time is currently 12.56. I might have to bring an umbrella with me like it was just raining before which isn't good. But yeah I literally straighten my hair. I've got my new little top on from Machine. How cute is it? I'm obsessed with it. And then I also have my Zara jeans on, vintage skinny. Are yeah, the vintage skinny? Or vintage mum jeans. They fit me so well. But yes, that's my outfit of the day. And I am also bringing my little Louis bag with me today. It's first ever outing. I might vlog if I'm in there. I think Ella will be fine with me like, kind of vlogging, but like, I'm also not going to vlog like the whole time. I feel like that'll be a bit like weird of me to do that um but yeah i am gonna go because i don't want to be late <laughs> i'm just in bella now and we've just got our food <laughs> i'm back home now from town as you can tell my hair is looking a little bit messy but um ella got the train back at five o'clock because she lives like in a different area to me we both were drinking so we didn't I want to be driving home obviously because that'll be illegal. Spent a few hours together, probably like three and a half hours, I'd say. We did obviously go to Coco Mill, as I said, and then we went to Weatherspoons, had a couple of drinks there. Um the drinks were so much cheaper in in Weatherspoons compared to the Coco Mill, obviously, because that is such an expensive place. But yeah, um I have to off this top. Only thing is, it does rise up when you sit down and it is kind of mesh and I felt as if in my nipples were kind of showing a little bit. So I know for next time to get some nipple petals or something. <laughs> um it's possibly where like if it's top that's the only thing. But as I said, it is a lovely top and yeah, make sure to watch machine haul. But yeah, anyway. I didn't actually buy anything in town just because um Bonnie, my little sister, actually picked me up. She's learned to drive. Obviously, mum was in the car with her. They had L plates on the car for anyone asking. Good morning. So, I am up bright and early again because I am actually going to a wedding. Like, they're not actually attending a wedding. I am going to do the makeup. So, I was up at, I was up at around 6.45. Um, I've been getting ready. had a shower, did my makeup, got dressed. I am wearing this lovely leopard print at the top from... Top shop, it, yeah, I've had it for a couple of years, but I absolutely love it still. And I'm actually wearing my Zara jeans again, just because I only had them on for about six hours yesterday. So what's the point of putting them in the wash? But yeah, so I am taking my sister to work for half eight this morning, and then we send straight off from there. So I only have ten minutes until I have to set off. So I do have all my makeup like packed up. Obviously, I obviously need, I obviously just need to take it to the car. So I am gonna get ready with that, and then. I'll be working with Scott later on, so hopefully I'll have a good day and then I'm back at work at my other job tomorrow because the, yeah, the salon is closed for the Jubilee weekend, so that is that. But anyway, I am going to head off and get ready, wish me luck. I've already done it by the time you're watching this, but yeah, I'm being excited, a bit nervous, but I'm sure it'll go well. It's a lovely day, so yeah, it's good to hope for the best. Very to look around with now. I've been just bought us the lunch from the spa over the road, and it's just cleared him park the deli. And I've got a cheeseburger, he got a spicy uh, chicken towel burger. But oh, basically, this. the wedding has gone really well. Um, the drive back to Scots was quite a long. I had to go on the windy road and the motorway and stuff, but it was alright. I guess I'm going to be working for him. In around probably half an hour, like we're doing the shop. Yeah, it's been kind of busy. I mean, it is in the Jubilee Bank holiday today, so. So you don't know if people are. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I, I do want to taste it. So I know, onto my bags. 
Oh, let's see what it's like. How do you open, do you open this? All right. Mm. I got a cheeseburger just because. Okay. I've been trying to eat more beef because I, I used to have a low iron like a thing. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's sealed on well. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm going to have some beef food and some wine gums. I can't wait oh, have this. There's nothing Let's in it. Look. No wonder it's only. Oh my god, it's tiny. <laughs> Mine full. I know yours is. Mmm. Mmm. No. I'm so sorry that I have been a shite vlogger in this vlog. It's now Friday, so. I did vlog yesterday, but I think only for like a little bit because I was working for Scott and. I was going to vlog more yesterday, but I think because I was just working with him and then like, he went home, I had to go home early for work this morning. It kind of just went over my head a bit, but basically today, me and my family are going to the Gretna Gateway. You know, actually, you actually didn't call Gretna Gateway anymore. It is called the Caledonia Park. If you don't know what it is, it is a design outlet. And we've not been in a while and... Yeah, they have kind of recently done it all out yeah, to make it you know, more like Cheshire Oaks if you have been to that one, that one is really good. The main reason why we are going is because yeah, they have a couple of makeup shops and I need to top up on some makeup and to be honest the deals are really good for the makeup there. You do have two makeup shops, the cosmetic company and the beauty outlet but like the beauty outlet is alright but the cosmetic company is really good so I might look in there and have a look if they have like any nice foundations. I might as well stock up if they are a good price, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, outfit of the day, I have a lovely bodysuit on from Sheen. And then I have you know, my lovely white flared trousers on from TK Maxx. Honestly, I feel as if I should be part of ABBA now. They're wearing these flares because I love them so much. I think they were only 9 99 in the sale as well, so even better. Yeah, I'm also bringing my Louis bag and I am quite undecided, or oh, there is, on the what jacket to wear because it is warm, it might rain, I don't know, um, and I don't know what looks best, so I need you guys to help with this. I'm going to try and take some Instagram photos if I do feel confident enough, but you know what, you know when... You can't be bothered, like, with just taking Instagram photos and stuff. Like, it is so much pressure to post on Instagram. The first one is my lovely leather jacket from River Island. I've probably had this for, like, five years. But honestly, these, these kind of jackets you never go out of fashion. And you know, people are going to call me biker girl for putting this on. But you know what? I love it. So first we have this black jacket. I think it looks pretty nice with these colours. A bit of contrasting colours, black and white. But... I think it is nice. So this is my first option. Okay, let me know what you think. Oh, we have my stony coloured one from H&M. I do wear that all the time. But it, it, it's my favourite. It is easy to wear. goes if anything. Only thing is I think it will clash with these. Oh yeah, definitely. this is definitely going to clash. I think I am going to go for the black. I think it's because I'm not kind of confident enough to wear similar colours on top and bottom if you know what I mean. I like how many different colours but honestly this body series is so comfortable and my boobs are looking very big at the moment. I think because of hormones and everything you know woman things but yeah I'm very I'm liking the way they look at the moment. <laughs> if anyone who is interested I hope not but you knows there can be any sort of people watching these videos online because you know yeah there's some creeps about but anyway enough for that. I think I'm going to go for this one. This one's quite nice and I don't actually wear this often. So I'm just going to show you. I think I will have to wear the my Balenciaga triple S's because these are very long and I'm only five foot one and I would hate for them to get dirty on the bottom. So I think I only have to drag my triple S's out. I, I think I was going to be driving there but I don't know... I really can't bother to be honest because as much as I like driving, I do hate driving as well sometimes. There are so many idiots on the road, like it's unbelievable. So that kind of puts me off driving sometimes. Like 
people going up your bum and uh, do you have small cars people expect all oh, like small cars going drive them slow but that's not the case um, and it does pee me off a lot. Me and Ella were actually talking about this on Wednesday because like, I obviously met up with her she was in the vlog um, and we were talking about like because yeah, we have small cars people just want to overtake you all the time so if you're watching this and you have a big car sorry to have a bit of a rant yeah, but this does annoy me on, on like the daily basis when I am driving. People with small cars aren't always slow drivers. We've got a Costa and because I, I'm not keen on coffee, I've got this very like smoothie thing. They'd also do, do the mango one, this is my favourite. It was just like you know, the only size that they did in it. It's like the only size that will probably get anywhere, like the small one. Um, uh, but anyway, I spent a, a lot of money on makeup, so I'm going to show you what I've got. I've got some really good deals on you know, these MAC foundations actually. It's 3 for 35 I think. It's so like £20 to 10 so that's really good. And like, I just stopped up on, on some more makeup so I will do a haul later on. But I have spent quite a lot but obviously like, it is a really good deal for these outlets. But I'm going to drink this because I'm thirsty but so good. Right to you everyone. So I'm now home in my dressing gown of course. I was a bit cold but like... I have warmed up a bit and now I'm just taking my slippers off because it's also very uncomfortable but basically I went to Caledonia Park I did kind of show you what was in the bag but I'm actually going to go through and I also went to Super Dry and I have not had anything from Super Dry for probably five years or something now um, and I wasn't expecting to get anything to be honest with you all because I don't really wear Super Dry anymore um, and like yeah, the closest super dry shop to us is obviously the Greater Gateway. Um, however, I found this really nice hoodie and it was in the, the clearance and it's going to be a size 10. However, the mum tried it on and she couldn't get it on. Um, and then I tried it on and it fit in perfectly. So, I've got this lovely super dry hoodie. Look how cool and retro that looks. Um, and I love the colours of it. and. It does fit me really nicely and this is twenty two fifty, so it is a really good price, it is really good quality and I will get a lot of use out of this so I'm very happy with this because obviously it means I've got a new hoodie, I'll try not to get makeup on it because that's like you know, the next kind of thing, getting makeup on clothes is such a typical thing to happen to girls but yeah I'm very happy with this and it is a size 10 but I don't know how it is a size 10 so that is why it was in the clearance because obviously it'll fit a size 6 but not a 10 but yeah I'm, I am very happy with this um, and you know, the super dry shop is actually really nice actually I had a lot of lovely things in it so I'm very happy with that I don't even know where I've put the form oh here you know, time is currently 90 minutes past oh no 20 past 5 now I'm absolutely starving we also did stop off at Costas as well which I did show you all and my drink was amazing but I kept getting brain freeze because it was so cold but basically, we went into two makeup shops, the beauty outlet first and then the, the cosmetics company. The beauty outlet sells more kind of a drugstore type makeup. So firstly, I actually found these two the Revolution Pro eyebrow gels in ash brown and dark brown and these were £2, they reduced from £7, so I've saved £5 on these. and. I can actually believe that there is so much Revolution Pro stuff in there, but it obviously is better than the Makeup Revolution itself, so I'm very happy with these. And I was actually looking for eyebrow gels. The main reason I did go into these makeup shops it was to look for eyebrow pomades, but I didn't end up getting any eyebrow pomades. Yeah, funnily enough, it's not so typical. You try to go into a shop for something and then you don't end up getting the thing you were looking for. It happens all the time. I did get two eyelash glues because first thing, the dual lash glue have actually discontinued their normal eyelash glue. They don't only have the quick set glue and I am allergic to it unfortunately. I'm actually using their quick set glue at the moment but like it's one of those the ones where like it has like a little stick and I'm not actually reacting to it as bad as this one but I also need to get a new glue for my clients so I, I will have to use this now. This was four ninety nine. Finally for myself, I got this Kiss Eyelash Glue because I do like Kiss Eyelashes and hopefully it'll be alright. It does have aloe vera in it and it was two ninety nine. So I'm hoping it'll be okay. If not, it is what it is. And then 
I also found, I was really shocked at the price of this, but I got this Revolution Pro Concealer Kit. Have a guess how much it is before you actually guess. This was £3, and I think it was meant to be £10, I believe. See, so yeah, I'm very happy, and this is in medium dark, but the variation of colours in this is really good. It does have so many colours to choose from. I can't believe that, so I'm hoping it'll be okay. I can even use it for cream contour, even though I do have two the cream contour kind of little things, but it's worth a try for that price. And actually, it did have quite a lot of Kat Von D makeup in there, and I think it could be because obviously Debenhams has closed down. They used to sell a lot of Kat Von D stuff. Because you know, there wasn't any eyebrow pomades anywhere, I found you know, the Kat Von D Signature Brow Eyebrow Pencil, so it's got an eyebrow brush on the end, and then the eyebrow actually pencil on the other end so I got the walnut which is black there I also got the light brown and the top as well and the Kat Von D makeup is really good the RIP for these is £18 and I got them for £8 so I'll save myself £10 there which is a really good saving again because Kat Von D makeup is very very expensive but they're really good quality because I have I used their Locket foundation and it was as thick as anything but obviously really good so I'm happy with them. Then I also got the last few things from there. A couple of the Revolution concealers because these were actually £5 in C9 and C11. Um, and I'll be using these on clients because I need some slightly darker concealers so that's why I've got them. And then I also got this Revolution Glow a dream a glow like primer thing and this was two pounds as well so you really can't go wrong with makeup for two pounds i'm hoping it'll be all right the packaging looks quite cool and makeup revolution is actually really good makeup a lot of people dog it but honestly it's cheaper but it works if you know how to apply makeup i'd say um but yeah obsessed with that then in the cosmetic company this is where i, I kind of spent a little bit more but Trust me, I've got some good deals. So basically, you know, they sell a lot of MAC in there, like Too Faced makeup, and the yeah. MAC foundations in there, hi, hi, thank you, are £22 each. Um, and there's actually a deal on to get like three makeup products of £35. Obviously, that is a really good saving. You were only allowed to get like two of the same products per deal. I'm guessing because like you would be saving too much money, but you know, I'm basically putting them through the two different transactions for me which is really good so I actually got four foundations the MAC foundations so for both transactions I did spend £35 so £70 in total I got a couple of lipsticks as well so I got NC20 um, I also got NW25 NW15 and NC9, NC19, NC10. So basically, NC means like the cool toned, and obviously, NW means the warm toned. So I thought I'd get the two of each because then at least I kind of have a variation of shades. So I'm very happy with them. And these are the, the Studio Fix Fluid. You know, like when you can get a good deal, you might as well make the most of it. And then I got a couple of lipsticks. I cannot believe that Velvet Teddy was in there. And yes, I got Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy was in the building. And this is meant to be £12. However, this for the bean, I don't know. See the foundations for like £15 each in that deal. This would have been a fiver. And then I got this one, the lipstick in the shade the reverence which is a gorgeous pink shade it's actually stunning look at that color it's beautiful i want it for myself but i'm not gonna <laughs> um and that was obviously five pounds as well so i did get some really good deals um and i'm very happy with everything so i've got a little haul going on i'm excited you're very excited you know what guys like in my evenings are literally going so quickly i've literally had my tea i've been sorting on my makeup arm and oh my god it is a quarter past eight and <laughs> I just feel like I have so much to do and I don't know if it's because 
I've been working a lot this week or what, but I just feel as if my life is very hectic at the moment. But yeah, as you can tell, I am in my PJs because I could not be in them jeans any longer. As lovely as they are, they are not very comfortable to wear in the house. Who else agrees with me here? But yeah, I'm going to quickly show you what is in my makeup case. It's all pretty much ready for tomorrow. I do have to wake up early tomorrow, but at least it is in Carlisle, so I don't really have to travel far, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to show you like the makeup. A lot of my new foundations are not in there because I do have quite a lot of foundations in there to be honest with you all. Just want to have a look at this shade. Yeah, um, so yeah, I'll turn the camera around and I will show you what's in there. So, we have, obviously, in my makeup, so I have a lot of foundations. How many we have? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14... 16, 18, 18 foundations, that's quite a lot. And then a couple of like the tinted moisturizers. I've got a setting spray primer, like all my powders in there. I then have like my bronzers and cream contours and highlighters. I then have mascaras, like blushes, like small colorful eyeshadow palettes. Eyebrow stuff in here. You're the best eyelash glue gum, which has been discontinued, as you guys know. Yeah, this was yeah, the best thing I have ever bought from Primark it is a five hole type of a lipstick and a lip liner sharpener honestly I think it was like two pounds the best two pounds I've ever spent all my P. Louise bases in here even those colourful ones are in there oh yeah and I lost the lid for this and now it's dried up I'm actually devastated but I had to open my P. Louise they're not peeling these peaches and cream, that's so good. All my concealers, the primers, I have like a foundation mixer. I have eyebrow stuff, eyeliners, the reusables, the linen here, the lip liners, the lipsticks, the more lipsticks and lip glosses, eyelashes, eye pigments, more eyelashes, more eyelashes, all my brushes, eyeshadow palettes, and then all the real eyelashes under there. So this is what I have to pack. And it is very heavy, especially this. So, yeah. It's all packed. All the brushes are smelling very clean. Because I've obviously cleaned them very well. As I should. So, yeah. Anyway. I am going to end this vlog here. Just because this vlog has been a bit in mismatch, to be honest. I do apologise for that. And I do have a lot to do. I might be vlogging tomorrow, but I have so much... I literally have so many vlogs... And so much footage on this SD card to basically get sorted. Um, and to be quite honest with you all, I am not keeping track of how much I have on my SD card. And I just need a clear out and just to upload some videos. So that's what I'm going to do. And also take my makeup off because my make makeup is literally sweating off my face. It has, has been on for a long time. But yeah, but if you guys have enjoyed this little vlog, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe. And I will see you all in my next vlogs. Bye everyone.